You know, I feel like it's an ongoing battle, wondering what people think of you, right? I mean, I don't know. At least for me, whether it comes to appearance or uh, my character, there's always that temptation to want to impress or uh, feel admired by others. It's exhilarating to, to get that approval. However, it's also dangerous territory because you're putting your self-worth on the chopping block every time. And so if you feel the way I do, Today I want to discuss with you why you don't necessarily need to stress over this, whether you're a man or woman. Hey, honestly, you're probably a lot more attractive than you think, especially if you realize that attraction is subjective. Um, Brett Maverick said it best. Now, I know I'm, I'm totally plagiarizing him right now, but hey, he said something like, you could be the sweetest of strawberries, but not everybody loves a strawberry. See, there's a wide variety of dudes that could be labeled as attractive. You got your pretty boys, you got your uh, uh, little stud muffins, you got dudes that are straight up menches, which is hard to find these days. Um, hey, and don't discount the intellectuals, the, the, the nerds. Those, I mean, hey, those dudes, they run the world, right? So, um, you know, the list goes on, and to be honest, you gotta find your lane, and you gotta run with that. Look, if I based my, my self-worth off of these signs or certain looks that people gave me, um, if I went out trying to get people to notice me or girls to give me that subtle sign, I don't know, at least for me, in my opinion, that's, uh, at its core, pretty narcissistic. I mean, ask me how I know, because I, I, I've, I've been there. When I was younger, if I went out and didn't get noticed by girls, I would get all low, I would get all down and out thinking I wasn't good enough. And so, uh, hey, I had to change my values. Now, of course, you know I'll never neglect the fact that every man should take what he's got and, and polish it, perfect it. Hey, I ain't no dime, but you know, you know darn well that I'm gonna make this nickel look uh, squeaky clean. You know what I mean? Now, before we move on and really start hitting some deep topics, I do want to thank Manscaped.com for sponsoring today's video and for helping all of us dudes look and feel our best with their all-in-one manscaping kit. The kit includes the new Lawnmower 3.0 body trimmer, which is water resistant and includes skin safe technology. And in this kit, you will also get their ball deodorant and ball toning spray, which keep your balls smelling as fresh as two little uh, dried apricots. <laughs> and if you hurry and you click the link down below, when you order this kit, you will also get a free traveling bag plus the anti-chafing boxer briefs, which is pretty much what I rock almost every single day. I mean, if you're gonna keep your Johnson nice and groomed down there, then you also want something that's gonna keep everything cool and dry as well. Plus, when, you're, when your girl sees that Manscaped logo, hey, she's gonna know she's got herself a, a, a real Manscaped man. Hey baby, can you get that cup for me? Yeah, of course. Here you go. No, the cute one. Oh, that one? <sighs> Here you go. Baby? Whoa, easy! So if you guys want to jump on this, click the link down below, use the promo code, get 20% off, plus free shipping, plus two free gifts. All right. Oh, Lakers are playing what? Celebrate the return of the NBA. All right, I'm gonna catch that in a sec. Let's roll. All right, number two, measuring yourself up uh, against others. Now, this is something I've always kind of uh, constantly battled with, and most of the time I do it unconsciously. So all in all, I am speaking to myself firstly here. And um, that's, just to be aware. See, the thing that really handicaps us as, as humans is we live in a world where social media, it, it emphasizes and it's it's obsessed with appearance. Um, and it's so easy to look at this person and look at that person and, and compare yourself and measure yourself up against them, right? If you're constantly looking at this person, looking at that person, comparing yourself and measuring yourself up against them, you're gonna lose every time. Because there's always going to be a dude or a chick. There's always going to be someone that's that's more attractive than you uh, physically. And you know, if you constantly compare yourself to others, uh, you're going to always feel less attractive than you actually are because you're not going to measure up to anybody. And with that in mind, you know n nobody's going to be able to measure up to you because they're not you, and you are not them. So if that you know makes sense, and you know, here look, here's a perfect example. No homo. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe a little homo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, I think Zac Efron is one of the uh, 
most handsomest, prettiest dudes to walk this planet, right? When I see a picture of this dude uh, uh, on my Instagram, on the set of Baywatch, right? Sometimes I find myself uh, uh, comparing my physique. And you know, cause I, I work out hard, bro. I eat right, you know, I'm always training. And I don't, hey, I don't look like that. <laughs> I'm not even, not even in the same ballpark. We don't even look like the same freaking uh, 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 species, right? And so therefore, I could, uh, I could get bummed out pretty easy. You know, I could. But why is it that I'm only taking one aspect of this human and, and comparing myself to only that, his appearance? Hey, I mean, who knows? Zach could be, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure he's a very, from the looks of it, a very genuinely uh, uh, humble, nice, kind dude. But who knows? I could, uh, I could have better communication skills than him. I could have a little more charisma. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, you know, naming stuff, but you can't discount that stuff as well. You can't uh, uh, compare yourself just to, you know, you can't compare yourself one dimensionally and then make that the final call. Look, comparison is like a thief in the night. It'll, it'll emasculate you. It'll, it'll strip your confidence like that. But attraction, it goes a little deeper than that. There's always going to be a prettier dude, a more glamorous chick, but there's never going to be a better you than you. Now, look, I'm not saying to just always stay as you are and to never build yourself and enhance yourself. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is is remember, it, it's not about being better than, than someone else. It's, it's about being better than who you were yesterday. And final note, if, if comparison is stealing your joy and taking over your life, I would consider deleting social media. You know, it ain't worth it. You gotta remember, these photos that you're seeing of other people on their Instagram, it's with the best lighting. It's uh, at just the right angle. Hey, any photo you see me post on my Instagram, remember it took 50, 60, 70 photos to, to get to that one, to get to that one that I posted. Hey, are you from Coney Island? Bro, no, you can't play with your toys because you're a conehead. I won this for you, dude. I know. Because you're too afraid to go on the rides. Dude, don't put me on blast, dude. <laughs> Jeez, bro. Yeah. Well, easy, bro. Whoa, whoa, what the frick? You gotta bounce the ball, though. You can't. What the f Hey, funny story about this basketball, which needs to be combed up a little bit. Um, so, a few years back, uh, I took my wife to Six Flags. And look, I ain't no. Uh, I ain't no roller coaster guy, okay? I don't get down like that. And hey, I tried, man. I went on a couple rides, and by like the third one, man, I was like, dude, I'm so done with this, man. Like, I felt like throwing up. I hated it. It was horrible. And so there's a handful of more rides she wanted to go on, and I was like, yo, I can't do this no more. This ain't me, you know. I just, I'm not feeling this. And so she went on a couple rides alone. Um, and before we went home, I felt so bad. I was like, man, I gotta do something. So. Hey, I grew up playing basketball. I saw a guy, you know, uh, with a little basketball stand saying, if you hit uh, a shot, you know, you'll get uh, something for free. So I saw this little Wonder Woman basketball. I was like, hey, I got this. So he handed me the ball, hit it my first shot, walked home, felt like a G. And hey, at least I was able to do something for her. <laughs> All right, it's almost dinner time. Now this video is due tomorrow, so I'm just gonna get something real quick. ProFlex Meals was kind enough to send me out some High protein meals right here, as you can see. As I stated in my last video, this isn't sponsored or anything, but if you guys want some uh, high protein meals that are delicious, um, when I mean delicious, I mean fire. I don't know who they have on their team as far as chefs go, but they got this down, whatever it is. After I film this video, I'm gonna go with some steak and potatoes. That sounds really, really good. And hey, these bad boys right here, power treats, I think they're called. I'm gonna actually have one of these right now. Mm, girl. When I first started making content, I used to care so much about what people thought about me and, and how they viewed me uh, in every aspect. And of course, I still do. You know, I'm human, but uh, I'm a work, you know I'm a work in progress. I'm still uh, uh, traversing through this, and um, I'm steadily building and rising above it. It's funny, and I want to end it on this note because it's it's so true. And um, I wish younger gentlemen would fully grasp and understand this. Uh, but then again, I didn't, I didn't catch on to this myself either till like a year ago. So, and I get it because when you're in, in junior high or high school or even college for that matter, um, you know you're still, 
you still are wet behind the ears. You still, you still got a lot to learn. I know that may be a hard pill to, pill to swallow for some of you guys, but hey, me being 28 even, I know I'm still wet behind the ears. I know I still got a lot of developing to do and I got a lot to learn, but I get it. You know, looks are important to you. Girls, especially in high school, uh, they're always so fixated on, on the jocks or the pretty boys. And most of the time, those kind of dudes, I mean, let's, be, let's just be real here. I mean, most of these dudes are douchebags. I mean, let's just call it what it is. But as time goes on and as these girls turn into women and as they mature, they start to understand. They start to, um, you know, as soon as they start to get screwed over by these type of, of, of uh, let's call them dimwits. <laughs> Sounds like I'm all bitter. Uh, <laughs> but they realize that those pretty boys, uh, those pretty boys aren't gonna cut it. And they start to become attracted to other things, other characteristics in men. And that's why I've always emphasized the fact that attraction goes beyond just uh, this, this, this flesh right here, right? You know, it's funny, we spend all this time trying to find, you know, the perfect hairstyle, uh, the perfect hair product. We, you know, we got due to, uh, who will pluck their eyebrows. Uh, we got dudes who manscape, <laughs> which I ain't calling out anybody here but myself, because I do all these things. But um, hey, we shave, we make sure we dial ourselves in, which again, of course, all that, all that stuff matters, 100%. I'm not discounting it at all. Um, but I also find that we spend all this time trying to uh, uh, find these tools and these utensils to upgrade our appearance and to, to look more attractive, when ultimately, the number one tool to make you appear more attractive is right here. You know, it's your, uh, it's your soul, it's your character, your values and how you treat people. If you genuinely downplay your attractiveness, me personally, I think that's where true attractiveness comes in. Uh, you know, it's, it's the backwards law. Great example. Um, now I know this person has a past and he's done some crazy stuff, but Hey, Shia LaBeouf, he's, he's definitely done a 180. He's turned his whole life around. And just the other day, I was watching him on the Hot Wings show. And, um, well, first of all, this dude came on the show with some shorts on, some old shorts with a vintage tee. Um, his hair was blah, whatever. And uh, there's even some points in the video where he had, he had just food all over his scruffy, grown out beard. Yet still, after all that, I mean, this dude, he provided one of the most charming, memorable episodes on that show. He didn't come dressed in a suit. He didn't come with his hair on fleek, uh, clean shaven. He came there just as himself, uh, not trying to impress anybody, but because of Backwards Law, hey, he, he impressed everybody. I mean, if you watch the video, you can hear the laughter from, from the, 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 the camera crew all in the background. You can hear them just busting up the whole entire time. Now listen, I'm not saying to show up to a date with a big old scruffy beard, or, or, you know, rocking some shorts with a, a tattered shirt. I'm just saying, this is a perfect example that, that true attractiveness goes beyond just this surfacey stuff. So I hope that's uh, enough meat for you to chew on today and kind of savor and you know, think about. At the end of the day, I've, me personally, I've learned that I gotta focus on things that are of greater value. I can't look at attractiveness. Um, I, I have to look at it as a whole and I can't look at it as a one-dimensional thing and, and blinding myself from uh, all those other great attributes that define a person. And look, if people don't see you for you and they don't see the value in you, don't waste all this time in the convincing business trying to win over the hearts of people that are already committed to undermining you. Run from that. Chase things of greater value and your attractiveness, I mean, hey, it'll rise, it'll rise to the top. Trust me, if, if, if you focus on the other aspects besides just appearance alone, then you're going to genuinely and humbly be more attractive than you could ever imagine. All right, check it out, about to have my steak and potatoes. My belly's ready for this. Um, hey, so Lakers are playing right now, first game of the season. We're gonna try and get that W today. It's gonna be a good game, so I'm gonna enjoy myself. If you guys dug today's video, please be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and be sure to hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content, and I'll see you soon. This is Dre Jaxler, Shaka Bra.